Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to get very sleek natural hair without using any heat. So I've parted my hair from ear to ear with a side part. I'm going to be using um, this Cream of Nature Perfect Edges, which is one of my favorite edge controls, along with Olive Oil Smooth and Hold Pudding, another favorite product of mine, and some beeswax. So I'm going to take a little bit of that beeswax and I'm going to mix it with some smooth and hold pudding and I'm just going to rub it together because you all know that beeswax is very sticky. So this is going to kind of thin it out a little bit and make it easier to apply. And I'm just going to rub that on the back section of my hair. Now I'm taking my bristle brush and I'm just going to brush until I get my hair as smooth as possible. Now that I'm done smoothing that back section out, I'm just going to take a goodie band and put it in a ponytail. Alright, so now I think we're down to the most crucial part of the video. I'm going to start off with the smaller section and I'm going to make sure I detangle my hair thoroughly. I'm going to take that edge control and I'm going to apply, apply it to my part and only to the roots, okay? Now I'm sectioning my hair off in very small sections. Whatever I'm not um, working on, I'm just going to pin it away. So I'm taking that small section and I am applying edge control to the roots of my hair only. So you want to apply as, as much um, edge control that's needed in order to lay your hair down. Once I'm done applying it with my fingers, I'm taking this small tooth comb and I am just brushing and combing that small section of hair into the ponytail that I previously made. So you just want to continue this same step throughout um, that section of hair you're working on until you have gotten everything laid down and as smooth as possible. Now it's going to take a lot of combing and brushing to smooth your hair out. So with whatever tools you have that work best for you, um, I suggest using them because as you can see, I am using several brushes and combs here. So whatever it takes to get your hair smooth, that's what you should use. And I'm just going to continue working on this section. And as I go along, you'll see I'm also going to uh, use some Pump It Up Spritz just to hold my hair down even more. I think I've got that section as smooth as, as it's going to get. So I'm just going to add that section to the back ponytail using a scrunchie. And like I said earlier, I'm taking this pump it up spritz just to add some extra hold. And then I'm just going to brush that in. And on the other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing.
the last minute I decided not to slick all of my hair back so I put this zigzag part down the center so that I can uh, make two braids going straight back <music> Lastly, I'm going to take my toothbrush and clean everything up. Now I'm going to grab a few scarves and tie my hair down until it dries. All right, so now it's time to make my bun. So I'm just gonna split that ponytail in two and put it in two strand twist. Take those scarves off. And I'm going to uh, put my hair in a bun. Just gonna take the ends of it and wrap it around the base of the ponytail and secure it with some pins. Because I'm going for more of a texturized bun, I'm going to take these extra two strand twist, I had, crochet twist I had, I'm gonna unravel them and I'm gonna use some bobby pins to wrap that hair around my ponytail just to make it a little bit fuller and add some texture. about wraps it up y'all here is the final look my hair came out very nice and sleek without me having to straighten it so I was very pleased with the results I would recommend doing this on a wash day because you will not be able to style your hair again unless all of this product is washed out so I hope this video was helpful please subscribe to my channel see you guys later